Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Student. In today's video, I'm going to tell you five things you will probably hate about Liquid Text and the reason why I am leaving the application, why I'm stopping to use the application. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. So most of you guys already know that I got the new iPad Pro 2018. If you've not seen my review of that, I will put a link in the description down below. I've been trying to move my documents and syncing my documents across the two devices so I can stop using the older 2015 iPad Pro, but it has been a massive pain to do with liquid text. So here are the five things that I dislike about liquid text at this moment right now, and I can't deal with it. So I've decided to just stop using liquid text. The first thing you will hate about liquid text is the lack of any cloud backing in the application. The application lacks backing up to all the different cloud services that you know it doesn't back up to Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud Drive. It backs up to nothing, which is something that never bothered me until now when I'm trying to move my documents to the new iPad and I just realized I don't have a backup for this. Yeah, that's really got me very upset. The second reason, which is related to the first reason, is that there is no iCloud syncing. In 2019, the liquid text version that I have, the one that is not the enterprise version, doesn't sync across devices, which is unbelievable. I actually have to manually move my documents from my iPad Pro 2015 to my iPad Pro 2018. And this has really been a massive pain. The third reason is that the application slows down when you add too many documents in the doc pane. It takes long too long to load documents and sometimes completely freezes. My current workspace I have open right now has 15 documents, seven of which are textbooks and others are just my lecture notes. This workspace is overloaded for the application and so the application freezes on both iPad Pros. It freezes on my iPad 2015 and it also freezes on my iPad 2018, which made me to conclude that this is an application problem, not a device problem. It's very tricky because this setup, which I have in my 2018, in iPad Pro is more ideal where you want to add all your documents to one working space for a subject. It saves on memory because this application makes really massive documents. You'll notice that I had a different setup for my 2015 iPad Pros. I had folders where I added individual topics as individual workspaces, which made sense at the time when I did it. But when I started studying for the topics, I found that each topic required the same textbooks, which meant that for each topic, I had to add the same textbooks to the workspaces. And this duplicated the textbooks that I had. And as a result, it took up a lot of space on my iPad, which is why now when I started using the iPad 2018, I decided to change my approach on how I arrange documents in liquid text. Now, um, instead of having the individual topics, I have one workspace that has all my topics for the subject and all the textbooks that I need. But adding all the topics to one workspace so that I don't duplicate the textbooks didn't solve the freezing problem because liquid text freezes at least once every study session. It doesn't freeze for a fraction of a second. It actually freezes and it gets stuck for at least 10 seconds at a time. And I feel every second stretching into a million years. This is a huge inconvenience when you're in class or when time is of the essence. Having individual topics will take up too much space and having and and having all your documents in one place in one workspace is actually not ideal either because your iPad will still slow down because it will have too many documents in it. It just seems like liquid text is not really working for me at the moment. I'm leaving liquid text. The fourth reason which is related to the third reason is that liquid text takes up too much space. I only have two workspaces on the new iPad Pro 2018 and it's already taking so much space whereas I have the same documents and much more in margin note 3 and margin note 3 is not 
taking up as much space as liquid text is taking so this is more like the notability good notes situation where you have good notes generally making bigger files uh, than notability so in this case liquid text generally it doesn't matter how you arrange your documents liquid text will make bigger files than margin note 3 and for this reason i've just decided to go with margin note and then the last thing that you will probably hate about liquid text is that there's no way of bookmarking your pages in liquid text if there is then it is the most hidden bookmarking icon which defeats the purpose of bookmarking in the first place of course there are ways to do this in the workspace they're essentially bookmarks but for me i find them they're more like references than actual bookmarks bookmarks are important for creating easier navigation through your book right I prefer my bookmarks acting as a contents page, independent of a workspace. GoodNotes has your contents, and if your textbook doesn't have contents, you can have bookmarks that you can just go to very quickly. Liquid Text doesn't offer anything like that. So since I have to manually move my documents across my devices in Liquid Text, I have seen no point to keep using the application because, like I said, the application is freezing on me and it's really slowing down. For this reason, I've decided to move my documents documents to margin note 3 and it has become my new pdf annotating application and my new pdf reader this is replacing my liquid text which i've used for almost two years margin note 3 is a very intense pdf annotating application i will be reviewing that for you guys in the future and showing you tips and tricks of using margin note so if you guys have anything specific you want me to focus on let me know in the comment section down below i hope you guys found this video useful give it a thumbs up if you did let me know what you guys think about liquid text and what problems problems you faced with liquid text or if you have solutions to the problems I just mentioned I'd love to know thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next video